Welcome to this tutorial on SafeDocs. SafeDocs is Mortgage Boss's retrieval system. Many of you will be familiar with SafeDocs, a safe way of sending out a retrieval email requesting documents needed to complete your deal. To access SafeDocs, you can go into any one of your active files. For this demonstration, I will find a deal from my recent activities. As the application uploads along the left hand side, you will see the tab marked safe docs. We have now added new improvements that I will highlight. Now, once you have sent the request for documents to your clients to sign, safe docs provides a secure web portal that only goes to our M3 server. Your client can easily upload the selected docs and send them back to you. I will walk you through how to use safe docs if this is your very first time using it, focusing on the new enhancements that we've now added to SafeDocs within Mortgage Boss, making this more user-friendly retrieval system to collect required documents. The new enhancements within Mortgage Boss is that the client can upload any file type except for HTML. The file will be compressed if it's too large, so now new to Mortgage Boss is that any file size can come into Mortgage Boss. The file will be converted to PDF if not already. The file will be scanned for viruses before downloading back into Mortgage Boss as it will pass through the M3 server's virus scanner. Multiple docs can now be uploaded in one file. Your clients can reuse the file upload link until you change the status field to verified. The broker will receive notification once the file uploads to Boss specifically the file name and deal number. Along the left-hand side, you will see the status tracking bar. For each document that you request for your applicants to send in, you'll notice with the tracking status bar that it will change. It's already preset to NA. Once you have clicked on the documents that you're requesting, they will start off as requested. Once they come back over into Mortgage Boss from your applicants, the status bar will change to received. At that time, you will be notified that your applicants have sent in the documents. You will have an upload bar here where you're able to click and view the document. Once you are satisfied with the document, you'll change that status to verified. Once changed to verified, your document will automatically move over into that attachment section. So your final step after you've received the document is to change that status to verified, or you will not see your document move over into the attachment section. So I'll click on privacy agreement, borrower's ID. And then if you do not see the document that you want here for your applicants to send in, you can use the other documents and then click on request doc. You'll be able to tailor the email addresses if they're not correct. You can always personalize that subject heading. And in the body of the email, you can personalize this field in here too. So as for the other documents, I specifically would like them to send in the driver's license. Once you're satisfied with the body of the email, you'll click on send email. And then you'll see that the email has been sent by that green bar, as well as you'll see on the status tracking is that it's now changed to requested. I'm just gonna go over into my email and I'm going to show you what your applicants will see. So your applicants will see this email. I'm just going to shut down and close my mortgage box. And then on the applicant side, when they receive this notification in their email, all we'll need to do is come in and click on here. And then this will open up a second window in their URL. So now you can see this is where they can select a file and upload it. And again, for your applicants, they'll be able to see that they can upload any file size and the file types that are acceptable. Again, HTML is not an acceptable file to come back over into Mortgage Boss.
go click on choose file and your applicants will have the opportunity to either drag and drop they can use this plus or they can select from onedrive google drive or my device So for the privacy agreement, they can again use that drag and drop. If they have more than one document for the privacy agreement, they can use the upload more. For the borrower's ID, again, if they have more than one ID, they can use the drag and drop. And then they can upload it. As the borrower's ID, you'll notice that there are two files for this one ask. As this makes its way back over into Markish Boss, when they click on submit, it will zip into one file back into the attachment section. And then my final is choose file and other documents. And then I will just put in the ADP statements. Before leaving this portal, if your applicants have selected too many files and they need to get rid of any of the files that are on, that they've uploaded, your applicants have the opportunity to use the X and they can remove any files that they didn't mean to upload. So by clicking, it'll automatically remove the additional files that they do not want being transferred back over into MortgageBox. Once your applicants are satisfied with the documents that they are sending, they will click on I verify the information I've uploaded is accurate and true, and then they'll click on submit. This document will now make its way over back into Mortgage Boss. You as the agent will receive an email alerting you now to come back over into Mortgage Boss and that your applicants have sent in the required document. And as well, please feel rest assured that any documents that are coming back over into Mortgage Boss have passed through the M3 server and has passed through the virus scanner. Although we see these documents again, um, we have two separate files. They will be zipped over into one file as it, they make their way back over into Mortgage Boss. Now let's go back over into Mortgage Boss. And I'm just going to reopen up my safe docs and just hit refresh. And you'll notice now that the status bar has now changed to received. This will allow you now to come in and view the document. And then once you've opened it and you have verified that, yes, this is a document that you would like moved over into attachments, you'll then come in and change that status to verified. And you will do that for all of the documents that you have requested. If there are more documents that you would like for your applicants to send in, you can repeat the same process by selecting the documents and then coming over and clicking request doc. Now I'm going to move over into attachments and just show you what that would look like. So here you will see the three documents. Again, for my borrower's ID, you will see that this came in as in, again, two files, but in one document. You will again now have the opportunity to come in and view the document. You can edit the document, its heading, or you can send to the trash. Before we move on, I'm just going to start with this user upload. So this will help you distinguish any documents that you have uploaded yourself or any that have come in via your applicants. Your applicants documents will always be noted as user upload. This will give you the opportunity to come in, use the pencil, and then you can change that status. So other documents, you can change that to
and then you click Save, and now you'll see that that heading has changed. For your borrower's ID, you can as well do the same. And for the privacy agreement, you can come in and again follow that same steps and change it. You also now have the opportunity to send this to the trash. What this will do is this will just remove the document from the lender's visibility. For compliance, we are not able to remove the visibility for, for compliance. It will still remain in Mortgage Boss. It just removes the visibility from the lender. So for example, if we take the borrower's ID and then we'll click OK. And then now we can see that it has been successfully moved over to the garbage can. You will have the opportunity to go into the trash and if you need to restore and bring that back over into the attachment, so you sent this to the trash in error, you have the opportunity to restore here. And now you'll see that the documents are all back. Again, you can come in and label your documents and then you can merge your documents if you see fit that it should be done at this stage. And that is how Safe Docs works. Again, uh, just to make sure that you understand that you must change that status to verified or the link that you've sent your, to your applicants is still active. Now that you've changed it to verified, you can now move on to the next sections. And this completes the tutorial on Safe Docs. On behalf of M3 Tech, thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great day.